Hi, everyone. I'm Lori Bloom, co-founder of Gracefully Grang. Welcome to Gracefully Grang Live. We are connecting you to information and resources in Michigan and beyond to help you create and maintain a productive and vibrant life as we are all Gracefully Grang. And as always, a thanks to our sponsors. Enjoy the live stream. Hey everyone, Gracefully Graying audience. Um, we are thrilled to be uh, starting a new series on Gracefully Graying called Cooking with Mindy, Delicious Meals for One or Two. So today we want to introduce you to our Mindy, Mindy Rubin, who is joining us uh, for the upcoming Gracefully Gray series. So welcome Mindy Rubin. Thank you, Lori. I'm so delighted to be here. Yeah, so we are thrilled to introduce you to everyone. Um, this new series, Cooking with Mindy, is about making delicious meals for one or two people in our demographic, people maybe living by themselves, living with maybe their spouse, their loved one, but you know, not really cooking for a crowd. And of course, it's healthy cooking. So um, first of all, I would like you to tell our viewers how you started your passion for cooking and uh, who did you learn from? Well, it's interesting. I actually was self-taught. Um, oh. I, I am. When I got married many, many years ago, I didn't know how to really cook. And I learned I had one recipe from an old college roommate. And from there, I, back in those days, bought cookbooks and basically just started cooking and creating and honing my skills in the kitchen. And it really wasn't until the last, I'd say 17, 18 years that I really took it upon myself to become a creative cook where I could use my own intuitions and my own palate to blend flavors and to come up with really delicious and healthy creations for my family. Okay. Just curious. What was that one recipe that you had? My college roommate, we called it Chicken Jeff because she was dating a gentleman named Jeff and she had him over for dinner in college and we were all very impressed. We said to our friend, what are you making? She said, I'm rolling up chicken with spinach and cheese. And we coined the name Chicken Jeff because- That's cute. I like that story. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I know that you have developed Mindy's Yummy Sauce, which is in the market. It's on Amazon. It's on retail shelves. Um, how, tell us kind of briefly, how did you go from making that a you know delicious sauce for you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, to making a business out of that? So it was always a dream to, you know, I, I have a marketing firm and it was a passion that I wanted to combine with my other passion of cooking. And really it came out of the idea that when my children were growing up, I wanted them to have healthy sauces and healthy foods. So everything I bought was organic. I was very aware of sodium content, very aware of preservatives and additives and trans fats. And a lot of the oils and a lot of the dressings and marinades on the, kit on the shelves in the market had all of those ingredients. And I didn't feel it was healthy for my family. So I started whisking up in my kitchen mm -hmm. sauces and creations and basically going with my intuition of mixing different things and using my mind to decide what's going to pair best with fish, what's going to pair best with meat, what's going to go well with chicken. And I developed sauces that my family loved. And they always said, mom, this is delicious. You know, I would try to write them down and keep track of them. And yeah. over the years, that's how it started to develop. Okay. And when my now 22 year old was on her way out the door to go to college when she was 17, going on 18, she said, she looked at me and she said, mom, you really should do something with your sauces. And I looked at her and I said, okay, I'm going to. And, and then you did. I did. I yeah. created Mindy's Yummy Sauces. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so um, share with us what some, what some of your favorite foods are and um, what, what do you really enjoy cooking the most? I mean, I know it's about healthy eating and, you know, our series is about cooking for one or two people. So, 
in that vein, what are what are some of your favorite foods? I love fish. I must eat fish six to seven days a week. Yeah. It's my go-to. Uh, I love preparing different types of fish, everything from whitefish to salmon to halibut mm -hmm. to Chilean sea bass to my newest favorite, which is Pacific striped uh, striped bass. Mm -hmm. And I have different preparation methods depending on my mood. I always pair it with a healthy vegetable, mm -hmm. grilled or steamed. Um, sauce is generally on the side, but can be on it. Uh, and I just absolutely have fallen in love with my cast iron skillet. Yeah. My new toy. Yeah. So I can cook everything in a variety of ways from the grill to the oven to broiling, you name it. Yeah. So, so um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people love fish. A lot of people won't make fish because it makes their house smell. Oh, well, the secret to that is buying fresh fish. If you buy fresh fish, I yeah. promise you, your kitchen will not smell. And I have little tips on how to do that. Which which you're going to share with us when our series starts. So yes. we're going to whet people's appetite. Like, that how does Mindy not make your house smell while cooking fish? Right. And other foods, too. Correct. I cook chicken, meat, yeah. bacon, salads, casseroles, vegan, vegetarian. I can do it all. Okay. And, and I know um, you're going to share with our viewers, um, you know, how, how they're going to do this, like, you know, what main ingredients they need. Um, give us a sneak peek into what you'll be teaching in Cooking with Mindy. Okay. So I came up with a list of topics. It's not complete yet, but I like the idea of easy for one or two people. If you're an empty nester, you're elderly, we're all getting older. It's yeah. easy to do a sheet pan meal. So I have a sheet pan, salmon and broccoli that's on the docket, so to speak. Yeah. So it's very simple for people. You use one pan, one oven, you have your healthy vegetable, you have your protein. We can talk about the starch either, uh, you know, as, as an addition, bread, things like that. So I've got sheet pan dinners, I've got crock pot dinners. The crock pot can be your best friend. You throw it in, you come back four hours or eight hours later, you've got dinner. Dinner for you and your husband, dinner for a, you know, just yourself and leftovers. What to do with leftovers, mm -hmm. how to make lunches the next day, because a lot of our cared, the people that we care for, they're in long-term care facilities or retirement homes. And my understanding is they provide breakfast and dinner, but not necessarily lunch. Right. So I have lots of ideas for that. I've got healthy salads with either steak on top, delicious chicken cob salads for those who like to eat, you know, a nice light salad for dinner, yet filling and nutritious. I have stir fries and a whole lot of other secrets that are planned for our show. Right. Secrets. Good. And, and you're going to give, you're going to teach people maybe what the essentials are that they need in their kitchen to do all of this. That's correct. You really only need a few staples. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be overwhelming. A lot of people don't have a lot of room. They don't have access to get to the markets. Maybe they're yeah. in a scooter or a wheelchair or they're, they just want a few items that they can have as a go-to to help them cook and be healthy and be creative. And I am delighted and excited to share some of those tips so that you don't have to be running to the market five days a week. Maybe, maybe you have everything that you need and you plan your meals ahead of time. And I can help with all of that. Right. I do right. also want to talk about healthy habits in the kitchen, smoke points for oils, mm -hmm. certain oils become carcinogenic and break down at higher temperatures. And a lot of people don't know that. And that's very important to maintain our health and our well being. Yeah. The other thing is, you know, as we move through our series, um, it's great and important and healthy to get into seasonal dishes, you know, What's in season now is not what's going to be in season in the summer, obviously. So I know you're going to, you know, kind of center some of your classes around what's seasonal. Absolutely. Why not take advantage of the abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables that yeah. we have available to us and getting those healthy vitamins and minerals? Right, right. Good. Um, okay. What else can you tell us? Uh, I know you, we don't want to give away what's coming up or your secrets. But, um, you know, again, we're trying to engage 
you know, people that are, you know, not, not cooking for big groups, not a big party, but cooking for just a few people, uh, whether you're a, a man, a lady, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Just cooking for everybody. Correct. So really the idea is to get a meal on the table in 30 minutes or less, mm -hmm. a healthy meal with a good balance on your plate. And I'm going to be talking and showing and I could talk forever about these topics. <laughs> it's so passionate. It's such a big passion of mine yeah. that I'm excited and delighted. And I certainly will have uh, availability after the show for people to email, to, to ask questions right. and to um, be, I it will be available to give lots of little tips and tricks and ways to make things easier in the kitchen, right. ways to shorten your cooking time, right. ways to even garnish the plate to make it look pretty. A lot of it's mm -hmm. visual. Believe it or not, you don't want something all beige or white on the plate. It's not as inviting as having a nice piece of bright pink salmon next to a green, perfectly mm -hmm. steamed vegetable. I mean, how delicious does that look right. on the plate? And it makes it inviting to eat. Yeah, sounds great. Can't wait. Um, also, uh, we will be offering uh, your services to be teaching group classes. Say you have an event for a group or an organization or your best friends, um, that would be a great thing for, um, you know, people to take advantage of your know-how and your healthiness and, and all of that uh, with their with their group. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you, Mindy. We are out of time, but, uh, you know, hopefully we gave our viewers a, a good taste of what's going to come with Cooking with Mindy. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Lori. And we thank you for uh, uh, our viewers for tuning in. Find us on gracefullygrain.com and on all of our social media platforms. So look out for Cooking with Mindy and we will see you soon. Bye.